Today is a Battle of the White Ink, by which I mean from Culture Hustle, which is Stuart Semple, the artist, he has some wink, which is white ink, because they previously had blink, which is black ink. Now, white ink is interesting. Let me get this open. When people get their hands on a pen plotter, one of the first things they like to try to do is plot with a white pen on black paper, which is totally understandable because it's the opposite of what we're used to. And if I used my pen plotter to draw perfect black lines on smooth white paper, you would end up with something that looks similar to a printout. But if you do um, metallic ink on black paper, then it's obviously different to just printing things out. But one of the things you notice straight away is when you're drawing on black, pa black paper that the pigment starts to soak in and also the pens tend to skip a lot. So this is like a first pass, but then if you draw over again, a second, a third, a fourth time, by the time you do a fourth pass with the pen plotter, the pigment is really sitting on top of the paper and it has a much richer color. And it's the same again with the white ink. And there's lots of pens, some Unibor Signo pens. There's a Molotow pen that has white ink. Posca that I never use because it always seems to dry out. The Gelly Roll Secura that um, seems to be the least worst option. So the thing with white ink is you often have to go two, three, four times. So here's some white ink So it's just on a first pass. And then here's some that has like three passes on it. But unlike all the metallic pens, White ink seems to be like a chalky pigment suspended in liquid. So when you first draw it, quite a lot of the liquid soaks into the paper, leaving a little bit of white behind. And then you go over a second time, a third time, and then the fourth time. But by that point, the ink has started to get really dusty and chalky on the paper, and it can smudge easily. The nib gets clogged up quite a lot. And when you're drawing back over the white line, it starts to scrape up the ink that's already there. And I just have a bad time with white ink to the extent that I don't do white ink anymore. I use silver pens instead. So that's why I'm quite interested in this wink from Stuart because I'm kind of skeptical about how well it's going to work, if it's going to work better than the white inks we already have, and um, just how well it'll work for a pen plotter. But I'm really hoping that Stuart has somehow come through and made something that's actually usable. Before we get to test it, I need to go get some pens. One of the advantages of being in town is if I need some more pens, I can just, oh, hello. There we go, just go grab some new ones. Here is uh, my local pen shop, so I'm gonna go get some pens. Let's go. All right, I've got my pen supply, so the next thing to do is for reasons that will become apparent in a moment, go into there. Hi. Hello, can Thank I have you. three lots of fruit toast? Yeah, you can do it. They're taking out, please. Mission successful. Three lots of luxury fruit toast.
I'm laughing at my music choice that last edit. Anyway, so this white ink from Stuart Semple, is it the answer we're looking for for pen plotting? I don't think so. I mean, if the question is, does this white ink work when you put it into a fountain pen, into a pen plotter, and then get it to constantly draw, then, then no, it doesn't. But I mean, the white ink is fine. I've used it over here um, with a dip pen. Here's my dip pen, and I've used it with a brush, and it is perfectly good. It's lovely white. But with this, putting it into a fountain pen and using it in a pen plotter, it's really absorbed into the paper, which we expect. But then when you do the second pass, by about here, it dries out and stops working. And I don't really know why it does that. I think because it's already got one layer down, that the second layer, when it goes across, the paper isn't pulling the ink through the fountain pen. So it might just be that the fountain pen isn't the answer and we need to use a different type of pen for our white ink. So that's going to be an experiment for another day. I've got some more pens on order. So there might still be a chance for the white ink. But again, I think the quest for a perfect white ink for pen plotters is ongoing. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for me for today. Um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I I've been told I'm supposed to start doing that now, so I'm doing that now. Anyway, goodbye.